we will discuss now nuclear spin statistics. We have already discussed that quantum mechanics requires that the total wave function be either symmetric or anti-symmetric So, symmetric for bosons that we discussed and anti-symmetric for fermions. With respect to exchange of any two identical nuclei, identical nuclei. So, if we, if we say the total wave function is psi total, so psi total must be symmetric if nuclei have integer spins or for bosons or anti-symmetric if nuclei have half integer spins and for fermion. So, psi total which is function of coordinate suppose x we are saying here and if we exchange the nuclei we get psi total minus of x ok and this is suppose this is for we consider here and it goes to psi total and this is for your uh, for bosons and psi total if we exchange the nuclei if we get minus psi total is for fermions ok so we consider one uh, homonuclear diatomic molecule like oxygen so for homonuclear diatomic oxygen molecule. So, we consider homogeneous homogeneous uh, homo homonuclear diatomic uh, molecule O2 here and we will discuss elaborately about nuclear spin statistics. So, for O2 molecule the O16 nuclei have spin i equals to 0. So, these are bosons. Therefore, psi 
psi total for O2 molecule is symmetric and this is an even this is an even function. Now, we know what is psi total we discussed ok psi total is nothing but psi transitional times psi rotational times psi vibrational times psi electronic times psi nuclear. So, psi total consists of 5 different degrees of freedom transitional, rotational, vibrational, electronic and nuclear motions. So, we need to investigate or we need to examine symmetry of each one of these wave functions of oxygen molecule for oxygen molecule upon exchange of two O sixteen nuclei. Note that we are permeating nuclei not atoms. So, we need to examine the symmetry of each one of these wave functions for O2 molecule upon exchange of O16 nuclei. Okay. So, five has to be consider a transitional wave function. So, psi trans it depends. So, psi trans depends only only on the center of mass coordinate of the molecule so this function is not affected by exchange of 2 O 16 nuclei. So, we will not consider this or it will not affect uh, psi total. Okay. So, we will not consider this. Next is we consider psi vibrational, it depends only on distance between 2 O 16 nuclei. So, this coordinate is not affected by exchange of two O sixteen nuclei. So, this one also we will not consider. So, we will not consider this.
Next, we discuss psi electronic. The ground state The, the ground electronic state rather the ground electronic state of O2 is sigma 3 g minus. So, this term symbol indicates or suggest that the electronic wave function is anti-symmetric. So, this is so this is odd function with respect to exchange of two O sixteen nuclei. So, so far we discussed about psi trans, psi trans depends on the center of mass coordinate of the molecule. So, this function is not affected by, by the exchange of 2 O 16 nuclei. Then psi vibrational it depends again it depends only on distance between 2 O 16 nuclei. So, this coordinate uh, again is not affected by exchange of uh, 2 oxygen nuclei. And then we consider psi electronic. So, the, the, elect the ground electronic st state of oxygen molecule is 3 g minus 3 sigma g minus. So, this term symbol suggests that the electronic wave function is anti symmetric. So, this is an odd function with respect to exchange of 2 O 16 nuclear. So, next we consider psi rotational. So, we consider a rigid rotor model here. So, rigid rotor rigid rotor rotational wave functions rotational wave functions are spherical harmonics right and psi rotational when j is 0, 2, 4, 6, when j rotational quantum number j is even, this is symmetric with respect to exchange of 2 O 16 nuclei. So, this is even function and psi rotational when j values are odd like 1, 3, 5, etcetera, the psi rotational is anti-symmetric with respect to exchange of 2 O 16 nuclei. Okay. Now, we said that psi nuclear since O 16 nucleus has nuclear spin i equals to 0. So, O 16 nuclei 
are bosons ok. So, this is event function ok. So, we will uh, these are first these are bosons and then we have two i plus one times i plus one symmetric or even nuclear spin states and they are term as ortho ortho hydrogen rather and 2 i plus 1 times 2 i plus 1 times i anti symmetric or odd nuclear spin states and we call them para ok. So, for i equals to 0 we get 1 symmetric nuclear spin states state or ortho and if we substitute i in 2 i plus 1 times i we get 0 anti symmetric nuclear spin state. Para. So, in general, in general, we will have 2 i plus 1 times i plus 1, where i is the nuclear spin, number of symmetric nuclear spin, spin state and 2 i plus 1 times i number of anti symmetric nuclear spin state and for symmetric spins we call ortho and for anti symmetric we call para why uh, they are term as, termed as uh, ortho and para we will discuss. So, if we substitute a value of i in 2 i plus 1 times i plus 1 we get 1 symmetric nuclear spin state or ortho and and 0 uh, anti symmetric nuclear spin state or para. So, only ortho hydrogen ortho oxygen uh, uh, is possible ok. So, so this is even. So, only so psi uh, nuclear for oxygen is even ok. So, be, so because there is no uh, uh, anti symmetric nuclear spin state for uh, O2 molecule. Okay. So, psi nuclear we get only uh, even. Now, we consider psi total. So, psi total we discuss psi total is psi electronic times psi rotational times psi nuclear spin state times psi transitional and times psi vibrational they are also there, but we will no longer con consider this why that we discussed above. So, psi total is as we know psi total is even. So, psi electronic we got odd because the ground state electronic state the ground electronic state of oxygen molecule is 3 g 3 sigma g minus which is an uh, odd function. Now, psi rotational first we put psi nuclear psi nuclear is here even. So, in order to make psi total even psi rotational has to be odd. 
So, it says so j equals to 1, 3, 5, these are possible. But if we consider psi total as even, then if we consider psi rotational as even, then uh, psi total is even equals to odd times even times even. So, this is not possible because we get if we multiply odd times even times even function, we get uh, odd function. So, only in ground state of oxygen molecule, only odd rotational levels are possible. Okay. So, what I said here is, so we can say that okay, for O2 molecule, therefore, for oxygen molecule in the ground state, or in the ground electronic state, cannot exist in even rotational states, because odd times even times even does not match or does not result and does not produce an even function as required by quantum mechanics. So, for O2 molecule, therefore, for O2 molecule in ground electronic state, Q rotational. can write j 1 3 5 etcetera times 2 j plus 1. This is, this is the degeneracy factor that we discussed already minus times j plus 1 times theta rotational by t or we can write up minus j times j plus 1 times theta rotational by t dj and this half term we already discussed this is nothing but symmetry appears due to symmetry symmetry number or symmetry number okay so appears due to symmetry number We consider one more example here uh, and for that we consider ortho and para hydrogen. So, next we consider ortho and para hydrogen. The molecules of hydrogen can exist 
in two forms depending on the spins on on the two hydrogen nuclei the molecules of hydrogen can exist in two forms depending on the spins on on the two hydrogen nuclei if both the nuclear spins are parallel or parallel the molecule is called ortho hydrogen and if the spins are anti parallel it is referred to as para hydrogen so this nomenclature comes from if we consider uh, the dice has substituted benzene so this nomenclature means ortho and para comes if we consider di substituted benzene here. So, this is one and this is one. Okay. So, this is like your both are parallel okay. and para means they it is like di again we consider di substituted benzene here. Okay, so, if we consider di substituted benzene and the second substitution is in para position, we get like this. So, this is like the spins are anti parallel. So, this is spin of one hydrogen nucleus, and this is the spin of another hydrogen nucleus, and they are when they are parallel, we call them ortho, and when they are anti parallel, we call them para, okay, para hydrogen. So, now it is clear that okay why this ortho and para hydrogen uh, we, why this nomenclature has come the spin on a hydrogen nucleus the spin on hydrogen nucleus so i is half right the presence of the presence of nuclear spins leads to very interesting consequences for the populations of the rotational states. And on a macroscopic scale, has consequences on measured entropies and heat capacities 
as well. So, the presence of nuclear spins leads to a very interesting consequences for the populations of the rotational states and on a macroscopic level or scale has consequences on measured has consequences on measured entropies and heat capacities as well. The total like before we can consider the total partition function for H2 can be written as Q rotational is Q electronic times Q vibrational times Q rotational times Q transitional times Q nuclear. Okay. And from here we get psi total is psi electronic times psi rotational times psi nuclear times psi transitional and psi uh, vibrational. And uh, we just we now just we just discussed that they we can safely neglect uh, we do not consider psi transitional and psi vibrational. So, psi total depends on psi electronic, psi rotational and psi nuclear. In the ground state, or in the or the electronic or the terms or the or the ground set got the ground electronic state for H2 is 1 G sigma. So, this is an even function. And since which nuclei has a half integral spin, so psi total is an odd function. Okay. So, psi total is odd and we get psi electronic is even. Now, we consider psi rotational. Okay. So, psi rotational can be uh, even or can be odd. Okay. So, total is odd, psi total is psi electronic times psi rotational and psi nuclear. This is odd, psi total is odd, this is even. So, if psi rotational is even, then psi nuclear has to be odd, right. Then only we get odd, just even times even times odd or if psi total is, again psi total is odd, psi electronic is even. If psi rotational is odd, then psi nuclear has to be even, right. So, combining the nuclear spin and the rotational parts, we see that the product psi rotational times psi nuclear must be antisymmetric.
antisymmetric means antisymmetric with respect to exchange of 2 H1 nuclei okay to accomplish this the singlet nuclear states can be called para must be combined with with the even rotational functions right because the singlet nuclear spin state or para state means antisymmetric means odd so must be combined with the even rotational functions and the triplet nuclear states must be combined with so triplet nuclear states means ortho must be combined with with the odd rotational states so the rotational partition functions for ortho and para hydrogens are q rational is 3 times and this is nothing but q ortho and q para is 1 times j goes from 0 to 4 etcetera to infinity 2 j plus 1 e to the minus j times j plus 1 theta rotational by t ok. So, in this expression we know the theta rotational where theta rotational as usual is the rotational temperature right. The total partition function consisting of ortho and para hydrogens you can write q rotational as well as nuclear is 1 times j goes from 0 to 4 etcetera when all j values are even
plus 3 times when all odd j values sum over all j odd j values times 2 j plus 1 e to the minus j times j plus 1 times theta rotational by t where 2 j plus 1 in the x in this expression is nothing but degeneracy of jth level. Thus, the ratio of ortho to para hydrogens or, or at thermal equilibrium you can write in ortho the ratio in ortho by n para So, we have got the expression for number of uh, ortho and para hydrogens at th thermal equilibrium. Okay. So, at high temperature, the two summation in the above expression are equal. Okay, so, we get n ortho by n para is 3. Okay, so, at high temperature we have 3 times more number of ortho hydrogen than para hydrogen. At low temperature, we get n ortho by n para goes to 0 as t goes to 0. Now, a good experimental verification of the above analysis is a comparison between the calculated rotational heat capacities at constant volume This CV can be calculated from the partition function expression. From the partition function expression, we get uh, we can calculate average energy. And if we differentiate the average energy with respect to uh, temperature at constant volume, we get. Uh, CV. Okay. 
So, we verify this ok. So, we plot next we plot the heat capacity at a uh, function of temperature the plot of heat capacities as a function of temperature. So, if we plot heat capacity as a function of temperature, the plot looks like So, we are plotting C v y in K v versus temperature in Kelvin. So, in the above plot, in this plot, in the above plot, the curve marked EXP gives experimental gives the variation of C V the variation of C V as temperature changes. the curve E q represents the data for an equilibrated mixture of ortho and para hydrogen. The curves ortho and para refer to refer to the heat capacities of pure ortho and pure para hydrogens hydrogens respectively initially it was a puzzle as to why the experimental heat capacity values heat capacity values of hydrogen of 
hydrogen molecule will differ from the calculated value. In fact, the experimental data agree very well with the below equation. So, C V rotational nucleus is 3 by 4 times C V plus 1 for ortho plus 1 by 4 times C V for para. The reason for this is that when H2 molecule is cooled down from a higher temperature, the ortho para ratio continues to remain 0 0.75 by 0 0.25, the high temperature value. Because the ortho para interconversion rate is very very small and we do not reach equilibrium we do not reach equilibrium composition unless a catalyst such as activated charcoal is added to the mixture. The above expression of C V corresponds to to a frozen high temperature mixture. mixture of ortho and para hydrogen. In the presence of the catalyst, in the presence of the catalyst, 
the experiments also give the curve labeled as equilibrium in the above plot. This is indeed indeed a nice case where, where the experiments support not only the methods of statistical thermodynamics, but also the antisymmetry principle of of bosons and fermions so this is indeed a nice case the above uh, examples we have uh, considered where the experiments support not only the methods of uh, statistical uh, thermodynamics, but also the anti-symmetry principle of, of bosons and fermions. Thank you.